Greetings. I don't usually uh, cover news stories, but I can't remember if it was one of my subscribers that brought it to my attention. I believe it was, and if I don't remember exactly, then I apologize. But um, I thought this was noteworthy uh, enough to make a brief video about. And unfortunately, it's indicative and symbolic and representative of the kind of female privilege and uh, female prevarication behavior we've come to know. So basically, to summarize, and I'm going to post the link, it's a very brief video, it's about two minutes. Uh, a Edmonton in Canada, Edmonton cab driver received a uh, group of young females, uh, presumably in their early 20s, I would imagine, as passengers. And uh, they wanted to light up their cigarettes, and apparently it's not legal uh, there, or at least in cabs. And he said well, it would cost 500 Canadian dollars, I presume, Canadian dollars. And um, they uh, responded by swearing at him and so on and so forth. Uh, eventually, they, he got to their destination and asked them to pay the $13 fare, which they then promptly refused to do. And he then said that he would call the police, and they then uh, accused him, or said, I don't know if they threatened to, they, but they, they said they would accuse him of sexual assault, rape. They, uh, the police were, ca were called, I don't know by whom specifically, um, and um, of course they lied and said that he, that he had sexually assaulted them or molested them or something of that effect, something along the lines of rape. Um, now, the fortunate thing for this uh, man, this cab driver, is that he, for whatever reason, had a camera in the back of the cab, and so he was able to record everything, and of course, uh, the evidence, I mean, you can't really ig ignore, I mean, something that's literally on, on camera that happened a couple of minutes uh, prior. The evidence he had was able was enough to exonerate him from any charges. Um, now, what he wanted to do was suppress charges against these young females, and the uh, cops, the police would not respond in like manner. Now, I don't know, I'm not Canadian, so I don't know much about Canadian law, but I would imagine that libel is a criminal offense, uh, and this is a kind of libel, I imagine, so I don't know. Uh, but let's analyze this a little bit. I mean, we all know what could easily have happened, and he said it himself, the cab driver said it himself, that his life could have been ruined if he had not had a camera in the back of his car. What if he had not had a camera in the back of his car? He probably would have been arrested or had charges pressed against him at least, probably would have sat in, uh, in jail, uh, pe uh, penny in bail, who knows exactly. But um, <coughs> It's unfortunate that this kind of uh, dishonesty and really foul conduct is just something we've come to uh, to know and be very familiar with on the part of women. Uh, I mean, it, it, this would be interesting in a not so pleasant way if this were an isolated incident, but we all know it's not. So let's go back a couple of months when I was uh, trying to raise money for Brian Banks' cause and. I, you know, as I mentioned back then, he did meet his benchmark. I'd like to think it was uh, our collective efforts at the end of the day that helped him to do so. Um, and I know I had a lot of subscribers make generous donations, so thanks to you again. But, yeah, we all know what can happen when a female accuses a man of false rape or sexual assault. His life can be and is often literally ruined. Uh, What's beyond me in general with regards to this sort of behaviors, I, I just don't, maybe it's because I'm not a female, but I, I simply cannot comprehend the lack of disregard for one's fellow, one's fellow human beings in terms of their, their livelihood. Now, uh, my motto generally is I just want to be left the fuck alone, but I don't go out of my way to harm people, and if I truly see someone in distress, I will try to help them, usually. So I just don't understand that this total lack of responsibility. I mean, th these these females clearly were not thinking along the lines of, well, if, if I accuse this guy of sexual assault, then his whole life could fall apart. They weren't thinking. I mean, and of course, we know, I mean, this is 
demonstrative of what has come to be known as a fact that generally speaking, if you're interacting with females, we know that females really care about two things, or maybe one and a half. They only care about themselves and possibly their direct progeny. Sometimes uh, that's not the case with the progeny, and sometimes they do care about direct family members, although that's pretty rare. <coughs> so it, it's it's really just demonstrative of this sort of uh, of what we've come to know. Now, I, I, as a final note, I'd like to just mention that it's it's not paranoid to say if you're living in Canada or the United States, which are really hotbeds for th this kind of behavior. F I mean, it, I, it's safe to say that it's not nearly as bad here in Germany as it is uh, in North America. That any association with female, I'm not talking about relationships, and I'm not talking about marriage or going on dates. I'm literally talking about any association with a female carries with it the potential risk that you could be accused of sexual assault and false rape. It's that dangerous. I mean, I'm sure they, they used to, and I'm sure they continue to advise women not to you know, go out alone and you know, spend time alone with, with men or what have you. But my advice to my fellow men in North America is to uh, not uh, spend time with females alone. If you're the only guy there, I, I would, that's, that is a danger, potentially dangerous and explosive situation. We don't know what wi what women are. One thing that we don't do know about women is that they're very flippant and fickle. And so, who knows? You might be standing in an elevator, just you and some random female, and you might not even you might have cast a very cursory glance at her, and she might have understood that to be or interpreted it to be a sexual assault. She might come out of the elevator and accuse you, saying, "If there's no camera to prove otherwise, well." <laughs> We all know that your word is wor worth nothing as a man. Her word is gold because she she has a vagina. So it, it's very dangerous. I mean, maybe in a situation like that, if you know you're going to get on an elevator with with another female, oh, oh, sorry, with a female, and you're the only two people, maybe if it's only three or four flights of stairs, you better get the exercise and take the stairs instead. Um, it, you just don't know what's going to happen, uh, and and. It's it's not safe and it's it's I think foolish to just you know, throw up your arms and say well you know, you know it's probably not going to happen to me or you know, just it's just bad luck. I mean very fortunate this cab driver had the the camera in the back of his car but who knows I mean maybe he had previous uh, experience with this. We all know that a man would have never accused him of sexual assault for rather obvious reasons. Um, but uh, this is unfortunately indicative of, I guess, what we've come to know, and unfortunately, uh, well, regret, and, and it's just, it's a shame, you know. But uh, the only thing we can do, I think, is to react in an appropriate manner, which means withholding every, every form of association possible. I mean, I do mean that uh, from women. I mean, if you have to go into a store and buy something from a, a female employee, okay, you can do it. But, I mean, if you're going to be taking lifts or elevators with females and you're the only man there, or, you know, even entering a cab when you're, uh, when you're the only male there, or, or the cab driver, forget the cab driver, it's just you and a female, I mean, who knows? She could claim you're putting your hand on her leg even when it never happened. So... I would just not interact with females uh, beyond the bare minimum. I mean, I just, you know, if you go to the supermarket, yeah, okay, pay the cashier the money and leave. But <laughs> don't, don't, certainly, I mean, dating and marriage is for, it's really for insane people these days, for obvious reasons. I mean, who knows? You know, you go on a date, um, your life could be potentially ruined because she could accuse me of rape. I mean, who knows? Women have these uh, inflate. The other thing about women's egos is that, they're, they're, I mean, Atlas couldn't carry their egos. I have no doubt that there's some women. In fact, <clears throat> I remember reading a, a story along similar lines uh, a couple of years ago. That a, a woman was offended that the man didn't find her attractive or didn't call her back on a date, and so she made up some story about how uh, he had... Not, not it wasn't assault, but it was a sexu sexually harassed her. I mean... You never know what women are going to pull, so uh, better stay the hell away from them. I mean, maybe that, not, maybe that that's not even safe. I mean, it's who knows. But the point is, you re we really need to be cautious in this day and age, and this story is unfortunately indicative of that. But 
Anyway, I'm going to post the link uh, to the uh, story, and you can watch it for yourselves. yourselves and um, anyway, see you. Uh, see you later. Take care.